Hello guys, today I'm going to speak about the top 8 smart cars of CES 2023. Proof, if it were needed, of just how much of CES has become an auto show landed at the 2023 opening keynote, once the show itself got underway. Legacy giants including BMW as well as Audi and Volkswagen shared the show floor with auto tech firms such as Harman, tier 2 suppliers like ZF, and startups turning classic cars electric. This was an event where automakers and tech firms grew ever closer, providing a clearer picture of how they will work together, and, most importantly, how they will need each other to survive. So in this video I will speak about auto tech highlights from CES 2023, let's see. Number 8, Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes is to build an own brand electric car charging network with over 10,000 active charge points by 2027. Designed to charge EVs from manufacturers across the US, Europe, and China, with other markets to follow, the network will fit 350 kilowatts chargers at stations that the company says will be safe, well-lit, and sheltered, and offer food and drink facilities. Mercedes also said at CES how its Level 3 driver assistance technology has received regulatory approval in Nevada, making it the first car maker to cross this threshold in the US. The system can be used at up to 40 miles per hour and in dense traffic. Essentially, it's an advanced cruise control that can be trusted to guide the car through stop-start traffic without assistance or supervision. If it needs help, the system asks the driver to resume control, if they don't, the car comes to a halt. Number 7, Chrysler Cockpit. Chrysler revealed at CES what the interior of a driverless car might look like. Called Synthesis, the demonstration model features two dashboard displays running the company's STLA Brain Operating System, Smart Cockpit Infotainment Interface, and AutoDrive Level 3 Driver Assistant, but no steering wheel or pedals, naturally. Chrysler says the car of the future will log into your calendar to work out where you need to be and plot the day's navigation including stops to charge the battery. Number 6, Audi Holoride. Holoride a spin-off in which Audi's electronics venture division holds a minority stake. The system uses an HTC Vive Flow VR headset, when connected to the car, creates a virtual world that mimics the movement of the vehicle. The result, Audi claims, is a VR experience that brings a fantasy world to the journey. Audi says, as the car stops at a pedestrian crossing in the real world, the vehicle stops in the virtual reality as well, so the little chickens can pass. Points are then earned by the wearer for each chicken they point a handheld controller at. Number 5, ZF Heat Belt. Any EV driver will tell you it's far more energy efficient to use a car's heated seats than blasting warm air into the cabin, and soon they may well be turning their heated seatbelt on, too. Announced at the show by ZF, the automotive parts supplier better known for its gearboxes. The Natalie named heat belt is claimed to sip just 70 watts of energy to reach a surface temperature of 40 degrees centigrade with wires woven into its fabric. ZF says the belt, which uses the same retractors and pretensions as any other, could increase electric car range on cold days by up to 15% when used alongside a heated steering wheel and seat instead of conventional cabin heating. Number 4, Qualcomm's Snapdragon Digital Chassis. Working alongside Salesforce's cloud service, the system is intended to be used by automakers and their component suppliers as a comprehensive platform encompassing telematics, connectivity, computing, entertainment, driver assistance, and autonomy. Qualcomm claims the platform is open, scalable, and upgradable. The system includes 5G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication technologies, as well as the ability to be personalized and upgraded throughout the vehicle's lifetime. Qualcomm also announced a new processor for cars called the Snapdragon Ride Flex SoC, designed specifically to work with driver assistance systems and infotainment. Number 3, Peugeot Inception 500 Mile Concept. At more than 16 feet long, thanks to the long wheelbase, the car is fitted with an equally big 100 kilowatt hour battery pack that Peugeot says is good for a range just shy of 500 miles. The battery feeds a pair of electric motors, one on each axle for all-wheel drive, 
and the total output is a claimed 680 horsepower. An 800 volt architecture like that of the Porsche Taycan and Audi e-tron GT means the car can be given 93 miles of range in 5 minutes. This is just a concept for now, however, so all of those statistics need to be taken with a pinch of salt. The Inception has been created to show what type of vehicle the platform can support, and while it hasn't revealed any plans for a production version, Piaget says the concept's design will inspire future vehicles from 2025. Inside, the concept vibes continue with a rectangular steering wheel Peugeot insists on calling the Hypersquare, complete with touch-sensitive controls beneath the driver's thumbs. Number 2, Volkswagen ID.7 Volkswagen took a more traditional approach with its CES news. Instead of a far-out ride, the company announced that its ID.Aero concept is now called the ID.7, a mid-size electric sedan due to go into production soon. The exterior is still camouflaged for now, albeit with a color shifting, illuminated, and electrified paint. The interior features a large, 15-inch infotainment display and a new augmented head-up display. There's also an updated climate control system that begins to heat or cool as the driver approaches, and automatically adjusts airflow direction to reach target temperature more quickly. The ID.7 now permanently shows air conditioning controls on the home screen of the infotainment system, and illumination has been added to touch-sensitive temperature sliders. Finally. Number 1, Sony Honda Mobility Afila. Three years after Sony surprised attendees of CES 2020 with its first concept car, the company now has a manufacturing partner in the form of Honda, and a brand name, Afila. The first model of Afila will be available to pre-order in the US during the first half of 2025, Sony said, with the first customer cars arriving in the spring of 2026. The car on show boasts 45 sensors, Sony said, along with a digital display on the front bumper, LiDAR for autonomous driving, and 3D graphics made using the Unreal Engine by Epic Games. Creators of Fortnite The first Afila car will apparently use Qualcomm's Snapdragon digital chassis, a new car platform that integrates telematics, connectivity, driver assistance, and autonomy. So together we knew the top 8 smart cars of CES 2023, cars name list in the video description. I'm done here thanks for watching if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe for new videos, goodbye.